The Saudi Arabian-led intervention in Yemen is launched by Saudi Arabia on March 26, 2015, leading a coalition of nine countries from West Asia and North Africa. In response to calls from the pro-Saudi president of Yemen, Mansour Hadi, for military support after he was ousted by the Houthi movement due to economic and political grievances, and fled to Saudi Arabia. In March 2015, in a joint statement, the member states of the Gulf Cooperation Council, except Oman, said they had decided to intervene against the Houthis at the request of Hadi's government. The coalition declared Yemeni airspace to be a restricted area, with King Salman declaring the RSAF to be in full control of the zone. Saudi Arabia began airstrikes, reportedly relying on U.S. intelligence reports and surveillance images to select and hit targets, including weapons, aircraft on the ground, and air defenses, and continued strikes against Yemen till now. The Houthis have responded to Saudi airstrikes with missile attacks on Saudi Arabian infrastructure and territory, including oil tankers and facilities and international airports. Further complicating the civil war, secessionist groups in Yemen's south, supported by the United Arab Emirates, have clashed with the UN-recognized government forces based in Aden. In this video, we will observe the foreign supports in the Yemen-Saudi war. NATO powers such as the United Kingdom and the United States support the Saudi Arabian-led intervention in Yemen primarily through arms sales and technical assistance. France had also made military sales to Saudi Arabia. Doctors Without Borders Emergency Coordinator Carline Clare called the US, France, and the UK part of the Saudi-led coalition, which imposed the weapons embargo and blocked all ships from entering Yemen with supplies. Rights groups have criticized the countries for supplying arms, and accused the coalition of using cluster munitions, which are banned in most countries. Oxfam pointed out that Germany, Iran, and Russia have also reportedly sold arms to the conflicting forces. In following, the role of the countries is explained in detail. The United States provided intelligence and logistical support, including aerial refueling and search and rescue for downed coalition pilots. It also accelerated the sale of weapons to coalition states. The US and Britain have deployed their military personnel in the command and control center responsible for Saudi-led airstrikes on Yemen, having access to lists of targets. According to a May 28, 2020 article by The New York Times, the Trump administration in January 2020 told lawmakers that it was planning to sell a cache of munitions to Saudi Arabia, despite the kingdom's human rights record. Reportedly, the sale of the said $478 million, precision-guided missiles used in the Yemen war to Saudi, and approval of licenses permitting Raytheon to expand manufacturing in Riyadh are objected to by lawmakers in both, Democrats and Republicans parties. On February 4, 2021, the new U.S. President Joe Biden announced an end to the U.S. support for Saudi-led operations in Yemen. Amnesty International urged the U.S. and the U.K. to stop supplying arms to Saudi Arabia and the Saudi-led coalition. On August 3, 2019, a United Nations report said the U.S., U.K., and France may be complicit in committing war crimes in Yemen by selling weapons and providing support to the Saudi-led coalition which is using the deliberate starvation of civilians as a tactic of warfare. UK-made fighter jets have been accused of causing catastrophic damage in Yemen. According to official figures released by the Department for International Trade, the United Kingdom has exported 11 billion pounds worth of arms in 2019 becoming the second highest arms exporter after the United States. Arms sale by the United Kingdom to Saudi Arabia and the United Arab Emirates in 2019 reportedly soared by 1 billion pounds, that is 300%, in comparison to the figures in 2018. The UK traded arms despite June 2019 court ruling halting weapons sales to Saudi Arabia due to use in the Yemen war causing the worst humanitarian crisis. In July 2020, Britain resumed arms sales to Saudi Arabia. Official figures of the weapons sale to Saudi Arabia were not included in the data, however, in 2019, 60% of the arms sales were made to Middle Eastern countries. In early June 2020, the French government published a report on the arms exports of 2019, where the sale of 1.4 billion euros arms was made to Saudi Arabia. Human Rights Watch urged the French authorities to halt any arms sale to Saudi considering the country is accused of possible war crimes and human rights abuses in Yemen. In July 2020, 
Amnesty International revealed that France had promoted a private military center to train Saudi troops and backed it both, financially and politically. According to the report, France intended to train the Saudi soldiers in the operations of the latest versions of weapons that had already been used in the Yemeni conflict. In September 2020, Canada was listed among the countries, who contributed to fueling the Yemen civil war, by a United Nations panel. Following that, 39 human rights organizations, arms control groups, and labor unions, including the Public Service Alliance of Canada, sent a joint letter to the Canadian Prime Minister Justin Trudeau, urging for the country to end arms exports to Saudi Arabia, which had been one of the crucial contributors to the humanitarian crisis causes in Yemen. The coalition accused Iran of militarily and financially supporting the Houthis. U.S. Secretary of State John Kerry said there were obviously supplies that have been coming from Iran with several flights every single week that have been flying in, and warned Iran to stop its alleged support of the Houthis. According to American officials, Iran discouraged Houthi rebels from taking over the Yemeni capital in late 2014. Casting further doubt on claims that the rebels were fighting a proxy war on behalf of Iran, a spokeswoman for the U.S. National Security Council said that it remained the Council's assessment that Iran does not exert command and control over the Houthis in Yemen. On 6 May Iran's Supreme Leader, Ayatollah Ali Khamenei, said, the Americans shamelessly support the killing of the Yemeni population. But they accuse Iran of interfering in that country and of sending weapons when Iran only seeks to provide medical and food aid. Fighter jets and ground forces from Egypt, Morocco, Jordan, Sudan, the United Arab Emirates, Kuwait, Qatar, Bahrain, and Academy, formerly called Blackwater, took part in the operation. Djibouti, Eritrea, and Somalia made their airspace, territorial waters, and military bases available to the Saudi-led coalition. Pakistan was called on by Saudi Arabia to join the coalition, but its parliament voted to maintain neutrality. In February 2016, Academy, the security firm withdraw from frontline duties in the Yemen campaign. Qatar was suspended from the coalition due to the 2017 Qatar diplomatic crisis. Morocco ended their participation in 2019 due to the deterioration of Morocco-Saudi Arabia relations followed by the United Arab Emirates in July 2019 amid possible tensions with Iran on the Persian Gulf and differences with Saudi Arabia. Sudan announced its decision to reduce troops' commitment from 15,000 to 5,000 in early December 2019. Thank you for watching, and don't forget to subscribe to our channel.